Welcome everybody to the Clock Clock Show. Today it's Wednesday. You know what it means. Debate Wednesday. Do you know who Erastostein is? It is basically the guy who proved that the earth is round. Since that day, everybody assumed that the earth is round. But apparently, there's a kind of conspiracy that claims that the earth is flat, not round. <sighs> So, on today's debate, we will discuss about this controversial subject and you, the audience, will decide which side is the strongest. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Glad to be here. For those who don't know, I am the director of the Aiden Planetarium and I'm the host of NOVA Science Now a TV show that mainly talks about scientific discoveries in the realm of astrophysics. You probably can tell I am here to defend the idea that the Earth is round. The opposite would have surprised me, but there's someone here that came to have a word with you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a respected member of the Flat Earth Society, Frédéric Hernandez. Hello everyone, I'm a flat earth defender and the only one that won't lie to you today. Think about it for one minute, it's impossible for the earth to be round. The Bible tells it and God can't lie to you. Do you really think that science can disprove the Bible, Mr. Tyson? Oh, looks like the debate is already starting. What do you have to say to that, Neil? Religions are but a tool to control and reassure peasants. They're not based on any facts. The Bible is nothing but the oldest fantasy book. It's distorted by time and retellings of the story. Oh, so it seems like you're a pagan that doesn't believe in God and for that you'll go to hell. But anyway, you can't prove that God doesn't exist. Bah, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about all the lies you and the media tells us. Which lies are you talking about, Fred? Gravity! If gravity doesn't exist, how can you explain this? You're so wrong, Mr. Tyson. The book didn't fail because of gravity, it fell because of its mass and density. You know that weight only exists because of gravity. No! Your gravity really seems selective. How can you explain gravity holding trillions of gallons of water, but it can't hold a single balloon of helium? Helium is a lot lighter than air, seven times in fact. Therefore, gravity being a very weak force, the helium can escape into the atmosphere. Aha! You admitted it! Gravity is a weak force! So, according to your own words, helium is a superpower gas that can overpower the Earth and gravity. It can flee into space. Oh, please! Oh, please! The god gravity can save you! Gravity is the phenomenon of objects attracting each other relative to their mass. The helium balloon is so light it barely attracts the Earth. And therefore, the Earth barely attracts the helium balloon back. In addition, the helium doesn't flee into space. It only gets to an altitude where its density is equal to the density of the air. This is a very well thought argument. This leads us to the second part of our show. Question time! Now it is my turn to ask question to our guest and the best answer will win. First question. According to your theory, how does the day-night system work? Basically, the sun and the moon are following each other around the North Pole. When the sun passes over your head, it's daytime, and when it's the moon, it's nighttime. So the sun works like a flashlight. Fuck, is that guy dumb? Exactly. I know you could be right. What about you, Mr. Tyson? What do you think? It's what everyone knows. The Earth rotates on itself and is in orbit around the sun. When it's day in Canada, it's night in China. The Earth takes one day to rotate on itself and one year to do a complete rotation around the Sun. Ok ok, how do you explain that the Earth is spinning very fast around the Sun and very fast on itself and nobody feels anything? <sighs> Humans cannot feel speed. We can feel acceleration, can feel the car getting from 30 to 100 miles per hour. But you cannot tell the difference between a car going 30 or 100. Now let's ask the public, who had the best answer? Shout for Mr. Neil deGrasse Tyson! <laughs> and now clap for Frédéric Hernandez! Ooh. Ooh. Yes!
Oh, looks like it's tied. What? We'll need a tiebreaker. The landing is fake. We have video proof that lies, lies, always the same lies. The government is corrupt. Can you just shut up? Oh, I think it's time for a musical pause. <laughs> I never want to see you in this studio ever again. You broke everything. You and your stupid opinion. You can show them where the sun doesn't shine. Screw you. Screw you. Screw science and screw the Bible. There it is appearing. and I'm a purple grape eyed alien. Goodbye. So, up for a beer? Sure. Or Thank <laughs> you.